Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this from Lexar. It's the Lexar Professional 2000X SDHC XDXC UHS 2 card. It's got a read speed up to 300 megabytes per second, as well as a write speed of up to 260 megabytes per second. In basics, what is it? It is basically a very, very fast SD card for using for professional cameras as well as devices and stuff like that. We do have links in the description below. Make sure you click on the link, it'll take you to the cheapest price available in your country online. The recommended retail price of these, depending on the size you want, and go from around about 60 UK pounds all the way up to about 160 UK pounds. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the Lexar Professional. This is a 64 gig version, 2000X SDXC UHS 2 Gold Series with read speeds of up to 300 megabytes per second and write speeds of 260 megabytes per second. So this is what you class as a proper professional series card. So these are going to go really, really fast speeds. Um, they do different sizes, a 32 gig, the 64 gig and 128 gig uh, as well. Prices, as we said, obviously do fluctuate at the moment. The smallest one, 32 gigs, it's got a recommended retail price of around about £60, uh, where the 128 gig is around about £160. But again, prices on memory products can go up and down daily. So it's high speed performance, uh, faster video capture, uh, with V90 class on there and it's for professional users. Now, a lot of people go, oh, why should I spend £160 on a card when I can get one double the size for half the price, if not less. It's all down to this speed. The speed makes a huge difference, basically. The faster it can go, you, the better pictures your camera can actually take. Well, again, that depends on your camera. If you've got a really slow camera, a uh, 10 year old camera, probably ain't gonna make much of a difference. But if you've got a pretty brand new camera, uh, top end, thousand pound, two thousand, ten, twenty thousand pound camera, anything what's really what you class as a professional grade, if you use a slow card, it means that the quality may suffer so it won't be able to record video as in higher frame rate because it can't put the information onto the card as quick or at a lower resolution, so instead of 4K or even potentially 6, 8 or 12 or 16K uh, video, um, you won't be able to record it onto the card because the card cannot keep up. Uh, and the same goes for pictures as well. If you're taking lots of pictures, let's say your camera takes 20, 30, pictures per second if the card is not able to keep up and take that many pictures it'll only be taking half the amount or even potentially less well camera could you probably heard when um, paparazzi or photographers are taking pictures they're taking lots all at one time and you'll hear it goes click 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 that basically means that's taking like loads of pictures but if it's going click 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 and then pausing and then click 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 and pauses again like that that means that the card uh, um, potentially is not keeping up with the pictures so it's not able to record the pictures quick enough to the actual card so let's have a quicker look at the um, the card itself so on the box it says there you've got your 4k your v90 and all your different stuff on there on the back there's not much else to see other than language information on there let's open it up and see what we've got inside Okay, this is what you've got inside the pack. There's no instructions, no special bits and bobs, it's just the card, and that's all you need, in all honesty. Um, it's black and gold, uh, colouring, it's got sort of a metallic look at it. it, tells you exactly what it is on there, so you know what speed it is. It's got that 300 megabytes per second, again, that's read speed. It's a 2000 Air, it's Lexar Professional, and again, it's got all your different connections on the back. It wouldn't need to, obviously, <laughs> connect up inside your camera. Again, this is a full-size SD card, so 
So it's not going to fit in generally a tablet or a smartphone or anything like that. So the device needs to be able to take full size SD cards for this to fit. Otherwise, that's it. It does have your little lock on the side if you want to use it, if anyone still uses those. I can't remember last time I used one, but some people probably do. Uh, that just protects it basically. It's like a wrap protection, so it stops you recording anything over it. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. We're going to do a few speed tests, make sure it runs at the speeds it says. But otherwise, uh, it looks pretty good for what it is. Okay, here's to the testing. First of all, testing equipment. The machine we're using is an extremely high-end machine. It's a Threadripper PC, so it's got 24 cores, 48 threads, 64 gig of memory, as well as having solid-state drives that will go up to 5,000 megabytes per second, so there'll be no bottlenecking. The card is connected to the PC via a USB 3.1 Gen 2 card reader, which is able to transfer speeds at a lot higher speeds than these cards are able to go. So the first program we used was Atto Disk Benchmark, ideal for testing things like this as well as solid state drives and hard drives. On there we found the write speeds went up to 259 megabytes per second and the read speeds were roughly 278. Um, again, it does fluctuate slightly, but it gives you a rough idea. So that's not far off the write speed as it should be. The read speed is a little bit behind, but we also checked using uh, Crystal Disk Mark, and the read speed was a little bit faster on here. It went up to basically 290 megabytes per second, and the write was close to 270. Again, uh, that's roughly what you should be getting. So average those out, you pretty much got what it says on the tin. Um, so you shouldn't have any issues there. Um, your camera should be fine with it. You shouldn't have any issues. And again, this is a high-speed card, ideal for doing really high-end stuff like 4K videos and really quick shooting.